What is up my friends and welcome to episode 60 of Closet Games Age of Engineering series. That is right, I'm spending some time with my bees. I'm not going to spend too much time um, on bees. Um, if you want me to do a bee episode actually, then uh, let me know because there's a couple of people asking about bees, um, but I understand a lot of people find it boring. Um, so I've just taken a brute force approach to breeding bees. Um, so I just bung in you know, a ton of hive bees into here um, and... Once I've got loads of hive bees, I bung them into here and that self feeds until I get commons. When the commons are done, then they come out and they go into here. So you can see I've got tons and tons and tons of bees going on. And I've just got like a like a sort of staged filter system going on here that uh, fills these apiaries up uh, with common and cultivated to give me noble and diligent. And then they come over here, uh, which gives me majestic from noble and cultivated. And you can see I've got tons and tons and tons of bees. Um, I'm wary from cultivated and diligent and then finally over to here Imperial Majestic so this these ones here these have been breeding for absolutely ages and look at all this look at all this tons and tons of uh, royal jelly and dripping comb and stuff um, but the reason that I'm sort of starting with bees today is because I have just put in um, some unwary queens bred with uh, a diligent drone which is going to give us industrious bees uh, because we need to get some ice shards going and the reason we need to get ice shards going is for the next stage of our mechanism or processing uh, so we're going to need this thing called a chemical crystallizer uh, which takes tungsten steel blocks and tungsten steel blocks are produced from hot tungsten steel in a vacuum freezer which takes an ice shard from forestry which comes from um, an icy uh, princess and you get icy princesses by crossbreeding uh, I think it's snowy princesses with uh, industrious bees so I'm just going to wait for a little while uh, for my uh, queens here in fact have they got any yet any industrious ones come out of here yet so that should make some industrious ones as soon as I get some industrious drones then I will be on my way I think yes I need to get some industrious drones. Um, so I need to get that. I need to get those sorted. And also, um, in order to make this uh, tungsten steel, I need to uh, upgrade my uh, thing, upgrade my blast furnace, uh, because it takes 3,000 degrees worth of heat. Um, so I need to basically auto craft these guys, uh, these advanced machine casings, which incidentally do not scan in the IC2 um, replicator. So I'm going to have to craft all these. Uh, in the normal fashion, um, elite control circuits, we've got those on lock, chrome, we've got that on lock. Um, so none of this stuff is really out of our reach. So what I suggest we do is uh, take a trip home and then um, we can uh, upgrade our blast furnace and then we can make some tungsten steel and then come back here and see whether we've got some industrious bees and then whiz over to uh, a little icy biome that I found and then we can check on our bees over there and uh, then we can get some icy bees going I think. Um, so let's take a look at, actually let's just, why don't we just automate these. I've put some more molecular assemblers down um, downstairs, so we should be okay uh, for space. So let's see about these, first of all. Now, um, in terms of what I've actually got um, in my setup here, I'm pretty sure that I've got advanced machines casings. Yes, I have there, look, advanced machine block. Um, so that is that bit done. Um, I think so if we just if we just um, craft some of those up advanced machine casing and um, let's well we're gonna need quite a few but let's just make one for the moment that's going what's this so then we should be good to teach our system that one there um, and if we make one of those and put that in our system then we should be if I've got some elite control circuits I don't know if I have I can make some though Let's just make one for the moment. There we go. And then these go here and here. And then that is the pattern for those. Good. Um, that was a lot uh, less hassle than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really bad. Um, so let's put those in there. And let's go upstairs and let's work out how many of these we need. So it's 3 by 3 by 4, which is 36, isn't it? Um, so let's make these then. What are these called again? These are called advanced machine casings. Advanced machine casings, um, 36, if you please, kind sir. Thank you very much. Look at all this junk. What's this? We're missing titanium. Oh dear. 
I don't think we are missing titanium, actually. I think we've got quite a lot of titanium in stock. I think you're a goddamn filthy liar. It's because we haven't got all dictionary substitution switched on. So let's re-encode that one. And let's get rid of the one that's in there. Now, where did I put it? I probably put it in one of the free spaces here. But let's get rid of that. Let's put that one in there. So that's the one with the ore dictionaries. I wonder if this one's got ore dictionaries switched on as well. Um, let's see about you. Have you got it on? There you go. It's that one there. Re-encode that. And then we can clear that guy by um, shift clicking. There we go. That's cleared that. Wang that back in there. And actually, whilst we're here, let's remember to get our patterns out of here. And so what is all this stuff? We need these ones back. We need to put these back where they belong. Um, so these guys, um, so this one needs to go in the molecular assembler, which is uh, here. So it needs to go next to that. Let's craft those advanced machine casings now. Let's order 36. And they will craft while we do other things. Yes, that's right working now. That's good. And then we can uh, figure out where we're going to put these guys. So um, what was it? It was these go in the molecular assembler. Because we've now got lots of space. So that one, that can go there. I think this goes in the plate cutting machine. So the block cutting machine. Actually, I don't think we've got space in the block cutting machine. Yeah, the block cutting machine is full. <laughs> so uh, we'll leave that there. And uh, advanced machine casings then. We've got eight so far, 12 now. We'll wait a few minutes for those and we'll just get the rest of our patterns and put those back. Um, so which ones are these? So that is a normal crafting one. That's refined obsidian from osmium. I don't think we need that. And what's this? That's bronze plates. And this is osmium blocks. Okay, let's put those back where they belong um, otherwise something's going to break and I'm not going to know what the hell is going on so let's put these one two and three put those there how's our advanced machine casings doing are you done yet 36 good so let's go upstairs and let's uh, dismantle this guy and uh, where's MC hammer are you in my inventory So it's not, I, ah, the two in the middle, never mind. Um, I wouldn't have been able to, I think I would have had to make those anyway. So let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these ones. Wonderful. And please don't tell me that I could have used these for it. Are you used for anything? No, you're not. That's good. I thought I was going to get in trouble then for wasting resources, and I don't really want to get in trouble with you guys for wasting resources, do I? And I could have just used the blocks, but it turns out... Um, I couldn't have used the blocks. I had to make these from scratch. So let's put the last two there. Then that should bring this up to 3,000 degrees. It's 3,230. Is that going to be a problem? Hmm. I don't know. Right, anyhow, um, let's see if it works. Um, hot tungsten steel ingots is tungsten and steel. Have I got tungsten though? I've got tungsten ore, quite a lot of it. Um, how do I process you? Let's grab some of this and let's chuck this stuff back. Uh, usage on you. Usage on you. Um, you need to go in and actually additions crusher. Which is not bad to make. So let's quickly, let's quickly make one of those uh, before we uh, do anything else. Um, let's see about the actually additions crusher. So it was this one, and then this, and then this, and then this. Oh, that was easy. Um, so you run on, do you run on RF? Uh, where have we got some RF? We've got some RF here. So let's do this. Let's, um, I want to automate this a little bit. Let's take this upstairs, um, and actually let's put it... Let's put it with the rest of our machines on here because we've already got a bit of power going on here. Um, we'll probably just pop another ME interface. How many channels we've got here? We've got 10 there. Um, so let's grab another ME interface and we'll put it on this gap here. Good, good, good. Um, let's get rid of some of this junk. Jesus Christ, I've got so much crap in my inventory. I usually start these episodes off with nothing in my inventory and then it slowly fills up. Um, so let's put this guy there. Where's your front? 
Okay. Uh, and then I think this is conduit here, and we should be able to just dump some power off the top of this. Right, so let's go here. Not like that, like that. Let's get rid of that one. So this should be getting power now, and if I dump that in there, that's going to work. And give us powdered tungsten. And then I just need to put that in an alloy smelter, do I? Um, what's the best way to do it? Arc furnace. Looks like the arc furnace would probably be the quickest way to do it. So let's take this. Um, let's have this so it's being piped back into this. Oh, is there an upgrade for this? Doesn't look like there's any upgrades to auto push out. So let's do this. Let's have um, a little conduit around the back here. Let's say extract always active. Extract always active in and out. And then this is going to be uh, in and out as well. So that should start taking that out of there. And if we put, um, if we grab some of these, and we have this so it always keeps these in stock, then that should start bringing those in. There we go. So keep a stack of 64 in stock. And then this should keep this topped up. Yes, good. Um, and then we just need to whiz downstairs to our factory. So these, I think these are buggered. So this is the one that we use for sort of constantly smelting. And you can see it's got a massive backlog of aluminium dust in there. Um, so why don't we make some more electrodes? Let's look at uh, hop graphite dust, um, which is coke dust in the squeezer. Um, and the squeezer is empty. Yes. Um, so let's order some more coke dust. And we've got some. Um, let's order another 100 of those because we've got tons and tons of coke dust. Then that should kick our crusher into life. So I think that's grinding up blocks. Yeah, so loads and loads of coke dust going in there. Um, so we should be able to make some hop graphite pretty quick if we take that and uh, chuck that in there. If we get rid of that for the moment, get those, chuck those in there. And then get a few more and chuck those in there as well. And then we take those and we chuck them in our smelter over here. Into here. And that should distribute them into there. And then that will get, get us uh, graphite ingots. Good. And then um, we should be able to make those using our plan over here. Yes, good, okay. Liking it, liking it. So hop, 16 ingots into here. That will get us three of those. And then we just need to enchant these. Um, so let's go to our enchanting. So let's grab a couple of books. Um, or actually just one book is what we need and then we need some um, obsidian and also some lapis to make this into an unbreaking one don't we uh, lapis and then if we come over here to here lapis goes there that goes there book goes there oh this needs to be a special book doesn't it uh, so book and quill There we go, then you go there. I'm breaking three, good. And then these can go in there, that can go there. Actually that can go there, that can go there. That gives us four enchanted electrodes, good. Um, so we can put one of those back in our system. One can get back in there and then we can go downstairs to the factory and we can get this guy back online. Um, so let's get rid of those. Let's put those three back in there. And we can repair these ones actually. I don't know where one of them went. One of them must have completely broken and stopped the other, other two from breaking. Maybe we need to get a repairer for that. Can I get a repairer for that? Does that sound like a plan? So what I'll do, um, I will put um, powder tungsten 
in here to keep that always in stock and then that will work its way through that what's this tantalum mercury mercury yeah so that backed up aluminium has finally worked its way out of the system and uh, we're starting to get tungsten steel now which is uh, pretty good um, so let's go back upstairs now and uh, let's uh, get some uh, hot tungsten steel made at least and then we can go back and see if we've got um, our drones um, so let's see about this. Let's get some uh, tungsten steel. So let's get some tungsten. Um, and then let's get some steel as well. From here. And then let's put that in there and that in there. That's rinse the power. Oh, I've got the bloody power switched on. Jesus Christ, and what's this? This is an MFE. Okay. Um, so let's... Um, I think I can bypass um, this. I think this will take high voltage power, uh, which is this will come straight from our nuclear reactors. So that's that's going a bit faster. So it's getting this hot tungsten steel anyway, and dark ashes as a uh, as a byproduct. What's this used for? Which can be made into ashes. So ashes are used um, in the Empower, aren't they? Ash. It's a different type of ash. But it's used to get carbon cells. Oh, and it's used to get camouflage paneling, which is used for what? Camouflage spray paint, greenhouse glass. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so we've got um, hot tungsten still anyway. That will slowly make that. Um, bearing in mind, we only need two for the moment anyway um, to make this. I'll just leave that running. I'll let a stack build up in there. Uh, dark ashes though. That's going to block it, isn't it? So we'll let that craft and uh, let's go and revisit our bees and check to see if they've actually done what they should be doing. <laughs> So, have we got any industrious bees yet? Let's have a look. Let's go over here. Whoa, too fast. There we go. Got any industrious bees yet? Noble bees? What the fuck? What's this? Unweary, diligent. No. Unweary, diligent. We need to take these back and run these through again. So, do that again, please. Not good enough. Unweary, diligent. Unweary, diligent. Go back in there. Right, so we'll let those cycle through again. And um, why don't we uh, now get our chemical dissolution chambers and that, all that other stuff. Um, so I might be able to actually make these straight off the bat. So this chemical dissolution chamber is just all of that stuff. So what were we missing from that? A couple of basic gas tanks. So let's get four of these and actually get six of these because we're going to need those. Or other things um, and let's grab so we're gonna need three of these actually so maybe I need some more um, enriched alloys and I fixed my enriched alloys as well I realized that I was uh, I had the recipe a bit backwards so let's just get a hundred of these because uh, they are used everywhere and let's take those and get one more chemical dissolution chambers um, and then a chemical washer as well. We're going to need some steel casings and some more of these. So maybe we can make. So we're going to need another um, basic gas tank. Do we need basic gas tanks for this? Yeah, we need a couple for there. So we might as well just get um, quite a few gas tanks, I think. So three chemical washers and three chemical dissolution chambers. Um, and we only need two crystallizers, remember? Where am I? Um, I'm over by the power. So let's. Go, it's going to go here, this guy. Um, so let's get this starting. Let's start setting this up. Let's clear a little bit of space from my inventory. So chemical dissolution chamber, um, chemical dissolution chamber, and chemical dissolution chamber. They all go round the same way. That's not right. That's not dissolution chamber. It's a washer. Um, we want this guy. Dissolution chamber. That's going to go there. Um, so these, uh, it's got two sides to it um, and we need to rotate these so let's switch to rotate mode and as we turn this round it should connect good like that and then like that so that should start filling up with sulfuric acid actually I think they're round the wrong way let's I think that's better I think that's gonna Yes, that's filled up with sulfuric acid. So it's the big face for in on these, actually, isn't it? It's These need to go around this way. 
there we go so they should start getting sulfuric acid now good um now all we need to do so i've got a uh i've got a chest down here um and what i need to do is to run uh the ores to these guys um so this one on the top this is going to be filtered because this is going to be our osmium slurry line um and the rest are going to be anything but this is the only place that the lines are going to mix so all of these are going to be insert um this one is going to be uh, disabled and let's get a filter and then let's get some osmium filter this is going to be uh, whitelisted and i'm just going to i wonder if i've got any osmium in here yes i've got two osmium in there so this is going to be whitelisted on actually the insert it's going to be whitelisted and it's only going to take in osmium so that's probably just got it's already just got some copper in it already so you see that that's it's got some copper in there now i need to drain that let's actually let's do this let's move this one let's replace this one now let's switch to wrench let's get rid of that one and let's swap it over with this one because this one's going to be empty so i think this is the one that's empty um so that's going to go there that's filtered now um and then we need to um rotate that a little bit so that should get the sulfuric acid in it and then we've put this osmium in it that will process the osmium yeah so we've got osmium slurry in there that's good just took a little while for that to update i think then this one's still got the copper in that but that's fine then what we need to do is to filter these as well so let's grab two more filters one from there and uh, these ones what's this there's something on there um, and we want to blacklist osmium from these guys as well so let's blacklist osmium from this one and then blacklist actually that needs to be on the insert so insert blacklist osmium and then insert blacklist not bees uh, blacklist osmium so that should leave the osmium alone that should just start getting iron ore and processing it into iron slurry and this is getting copper um, it's got silver in there what would probably be a good idea actually is to put a stack upgrade in there so it just chucks a whole stack at a time or as many that are in there so i wonder if i've got a speed upgrade that i can use got some speed upgrades these are mechanism speed upgrades these are ender io speed upgrades so what if i put these in there and that should mean it chucks more than just one uh or in there at a time so that should work think it's got loads and loads of iron slurry in there right so the next step is to get these washed um so let's go and get the washing sorted out so we're going to have three washers one two and three like that and then these need to be turned around um, what comes in the top here is it water in the top i think it's water in the top yeah because it probably sprays down doesn't it onto stuff um, so is this in rotate mode so that's that like that and then this one needs to come around like like that god these machines are a fucking nuisance to rearrange jesus so they're all facing the same rate good um and then we need some uh, pressurized tube so i think these are still classed as gases yes so that's going to go into there then what we need to do is to get some more conduit um, onto these, going into all of these. So like this. So like that. And then uh, let's wrench it up with the old Yeta wrench. Connect that onto there. So then these should start washing. Maybe I've got these round the wrong way, have I? that's it i need to go around that way um so whack them on this side and then that turns around so that's good so that should start washing stuff are you washing stuff clean copper slurry clean osmium slurry good um so the clean osmium slurry is going to go into a couple of gas tanks that are going to be stored here even though it's liquid so let's grab these two basic gas tanks and this is for the creative vending upgrade so these are going to go there and and one more gas tank i thought i grabbed two but i only grabbed one because they don't stack 
So advanced pressurized tube out of there and into there, if you please. So that's going to start filling those up with clean osmium slurry. So that is part of the creative vending upgrade. Very, very good. I like it. Now, one of the things I didn't show you, actually, um, was I've hooked these up. These are all activated on redstone now. So this is not actually producing sulfuric acid at the moment until I switch it all on. Then it starts producing it. And so the last thing that we're waiting for now is uh, is these chemical crystallizers. So I am going to go um, and keep an eye on my bees um, and see how we're doing. Let's quickly um, go over this way and see how we're doing with these bees, shall we? How are you doing, bees? Have you gotten the goods for us yet? Uh, more unweary drones, more diligent drones. More unweary, more un diligent. Do it again. God damn bees. Bees drive me mad. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hate bees. I don't hate bees. I like bees. But these are annoying. Um, I, wish those, I wish there was a way that you could craft them. So whilst we're waiting for our industrious bees uh, to make, uh, what we could probably do is to get some of our uh, tier 1 stuff set up so we can get our enrichment factories and our smelting factories set up because a lot of the ores um, that are coming into our ender chest can't actually go anywhere because they can't um, some of these ores um, you know like emeralds and stuff like that they can't go through here um, it doesn't work um, there's only a handful of ores or you know a few basically the main ores like iron and gold and silver and stuff that can be five times ore processed um, so we're not going to do it with everything so some of it needs to be bypassed so i'm going to have some filters coming out of here that are going to lead over to um, this one over here or actually i could just get another ender chest um, so some of them will come in here to the enrichment chamber and then get sent to the smelting factories and then some of them will just go straight into the smelting factories um, and some of them will come out of the enrichment chamber like redstone and uh, diamond and stuff and go straight into the output chest so we can get um, at least one of these machines for each one of these set up um, so let's see about um, enrichment factories um, which needs enrichment chambers which is just all this stuff so we might even be able to make um, these guys like right now um, without even going home um, what about so more electronic circuits so let's get some circuits on the cooker shall we let's get um, another 50 of those guys so that's the enrichment chamber and then the basic enriching factory is that one and then the advanced enriching factory is that one so what was that we were missing um, advanced circuits and iridium so have I got iridium on craft yes let's get some more of that going and let's get some more of the advanced circuits going as well maybe not 100 maybe 30 will do um, so we are up to uh, the advanced enriching factory which is this guy so that's one of those and then um, do I want to go to elite do I need to go to elite elite takes tungsten steel anyway um, so what we'll do is we'll put the advanced one down and then we can start processing some of our ores um, already um, so the enriching factory is going to go here we need to run some power over as well um, so let's drop um, some universal cable down there like that for that one and then that guy can go there um, what we need to do is we need to run the power down and we need to run um, some conduit over to here as well with some filters on it so some of it will go through um, out the front and uh, sort of into this next one so this is going to be the smelting factory so there's the energized smelter and then we can get the basic smelting factory and then we can probably get the advanced smelting factory as well nice so that should be pretty good that will work okay if we grab this guy and put him down there and um, we need to get some power to this guy as well um, so let's get these there and then we can do this let's do this line as well so one there and one there and I'll make these off cam real quick so another advanced smelting factory and another advanced enrichment factory um, so the, they can go there we'll put auto sort on and then this guy can go there and we'll put auto sort on him as well auto sort good and then um, let's run um, some conduit between these two so that's going to be uh, extract 
always active that's going to be insert then this is going to be insert as well and this is going to be extract i'm wondering um you know we're going to be we're going to be like enriching five things at once and then smelting five things at once um, I think the advanced ones might, you know, might even be sufficient for us. I don't even think we really need to go as far as uh, the elite ones for this. So let's get these set up. Let's uh, have these as insert, and then we can put some filters on these. So let's get these set up with um, some filters, um, and we're going to insert on brown on these. So this is going to be for like the bypass channel. So we'll have the bypass channel coming out of the. Um, End the chest over there on brown and then that won't get confused with all the other stuff that's going to be coming um, from the purification chambers and stuff that are coming in into here so the dirty dust is going to come in here as well so let's run these down um, and i'll run the power in and then i'll be back in a sec so if you look at all of these different ores so uh, let's take for example iron um, and go on usage and then go along to the chemical dissolution chamber it will tell you that you can turn it from um, iron ore into iron slurry so those ones are good um, if we look at something like certus quartz for example um, the only we can't use anything other than the enrichment chamber um, out of mechanism for that it doesn't work you can't make um, like slurry out of it um, so they have to be bypassed um, it's still a good way to do it you still get four um, I think I think it's probably one of the best ways to do it yeah I think it's still probably one of the best ways to do it in the enrichment chamber the sag mill you get two um, and one dust and the crusher the grinder you get yeah so i think it's, it's still the best way to do it um so what we plan to do is to get these um, and i can put another filter on here if i need to if i run out of space um, but what we want is for the silver and the stuff like that to go um, through the five times ore processing and then the rest of it to be bypassed there's a couple of things i think we might even need a sag mill over here as well actually to uh sort of finish this off but to connect the power up now and then we can see it all working that can go there and then we can whiz upstairs and these should now be getting power and uh, be crushing stuff crushing stuff yes so making loads and loads of redstone now obviously we can't do nothing without redstone that's got to come out of there and uh, go to an output chest and the same really for these emeralds um, they can't go to the smelting factory they've just got to go through the enrichment chamber um, so we need um, so another kind of filter um, and then an ender chest back into the ME system um, for these guys. So let's do this. Let's have um, something coming down the bottom here. Let's have some more conduit coming down the bottom here and then what we'll do is we'll filter it. Um, we could probably put it in the middle of this one because there's a gap there like that. Uh, and then we can say uh, come out of here and then go down to the bottom here like that let's get rid of that connection there because it looks untidy so let's have it like that i think that looks okay um, and then we can um, have another uh, ender chest so if we have it coming around um, here like this onto an ender chest here um, i think have i got um, i've got climb flasks automated i don't know if i've got ender chests automated though i don't think i have um, let's make another climb flask or two. Yeah, we'll need two. Um, and then uh, ender chest. So there's the two climb flasks made. Let's uh, get two ender chests. And um, how should we configure these? Um, I don't think I've used blue yet. So let's get some. Well, first of all, let's put a uh, an insert here with a filter. Then we can say to these that this is going to be redstone and stuff like that coming into here. Um, so that should be okay if we fill that. Let's uh, turn this one. So that's going to have uh, Eulorium in it. So let's grab some sort of dye. Why don't we actually just let's just do this as black. We'll just do this as one black. So one black there. And then we'll do this one the same. So that should be okay that should both be empty good now if we whiz back up and we'll take one redstone from here and then we'll grab an emerald as well and let's put that in there so we'll have the filter coming in um, and we'll say redstone is allowed and we'll 
will say uh, emerald is allowed as well and then out the front of um, these guys uh, these can go into the ender chest as well because this is going to be like the proper ingots coming out um, of the front of these so these can go all the way down as well um, and these can be extract always active extract always active and then back down once more to here let's have these guys coming across and then down into the ender chest as insert so that should be okay uh, so that's going to be filtered yes that's filtered um, then all I think I need to do is just reconfigure the fronts of these um, with my configurator wherever he's gone there he is so configurator for uh, items you are going to be blue and then you are going to be blue as well so that should start getting more stuff coming through and then they should go out so this is going to be getting certs quartz uh, so certs quartz is not on our list yet so let's just chuck those on the floor for the moment i'm going to pick them up in a minute um, so certs quartz needs to go on the list of things that are allowed to go in there and then they can go in there, they can go in there, they can go in there. So what we need to do is then move uh, this one over to um, our ME system at home and then just have uh, an export bus or an import bus, sorry, on here uh, to bring all of those items back into the system. Uh, so let's whiz home and then we can start emptying out this ender chest into our system. So in terms of channels, um, I mean, this is our old ore processing place here. Um, and I think we've got a channel here. Uh, and this is what 9 of 32 I think is being occupied on this one let's just double check yeah I think we'll be okay um, so let's have um, our ender chest here let's have him there let's get rid of some of this stuff let's grab our um, certus quartz wrench from in here let's pop that off there pop that one off there uh, and then we just need to get an import bus from here we can chuck that one back in there so import bus on there they should start going good okay so all that needs to be done is to sort of update those filters a little bit um, to include the other ores that can't go through the five times chain and then wait for the bees Okay, my friends, uh, we are back and I've set up quite a bit of filtering. Um, if we go and look at our ender chest over here, um, I've got two lots of filters on here now. Um, these are slowly starting to get populated up. Um, so things like glowstone, things like certus quartz and stuff like that, they go into the enrichment chambers and then they don't get smelted or anything like that. They just go straight through. Um, so you're starting to see a bit of a build up of, uh, of ores in here now. Um, these are not necessarily the ones that can be smelted, so stuff like Ruby needs to come straight out and just bypass the system altogether. Um, so I've got um, another filter around the back here. Uh, so this is also bypassing the system, so stuff like Eulorium and things like that. Uh, we don't really want anything to happen to it because our system back home uh, is going to do something with it. So what I've got is uh, going around the back here. Um, so it can either go up here into the enrichment chambers or it can go around this way. Uh, so this is like the bypass loop. So that all this stuff is just going to go straight back into our system. Um, and that's filtered as well. So stuff like tungsten is getting processed by our crusher. Stuff like uranium is getting processed in our uranium plant. Things like rubies are getting crushed up uh, in a different way using our crusher. And the Northern's Delight and stuff like that doesn't uh, actually get um, anything done to it just gets put straight into the system so that's that bit that's like a bypass channel for that the rest of the stuff goes into the enrichment chambers so the filtering is being done at the input stage things like nickel and stuff like that these are a slightly higher priority so it will come in here first if you can't find the space in here then it will go into that ender chest down there um, I think that should be okay but we might have to figure out some better filtering um, to to stop dust and stuff going in here but anyway, we'll figure that out later. So let's go and check on our bees, um, and then hopefully we can wrap up. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to make the crystallization chambers today. So let's go and check on these goddamn bees. How are you doing, bees? Have you got any industrial bees? No? Still no industrial bees. 
What about in here? I'm weary. Um, let's grab uh, another diligent drone. Okay, so we'll wrap up there, um, and then I'll, I'll carry on breeding these, and hopefully we'll get um, some kind of industrial bee, and then I can breed it with my uh, wintry hives to get um, icy bees. Okay, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, then please leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys next time.